Hello! Greetings, salutations, everybody, and welcome to the channel of Flash. Wow, it's gonna be kind of hard to sync up my audio because I don't have any kind of visual cue since I'm stuck on a text screen. Okay, um, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Welcome to the channel of Flash uh, with my playthrough of, blind playthrough of, The Plucky Squire. And <laughs> I've got to admit, the only reason I'm on the screen right now is because I kind of made an oopsie. I started recording my audio, but I forgot to record the actual gameplay. So I kind of played ahead a bit without even realizing I wasn't recording the gameplay. So I had to start over. Fortunately, I didn't go that far into it. I only went like two or three minutes into the audio or into the gameplay. So I just had to exit out and pretty much continue at my last save. And my last save was apparently at this text box. So there wasn't anything before this actually. So there's nothing in between this point right now and any time before that you haven't seen. The only difference was that I was in the last episode I ended off on, I was on the screen right before this screen. So I just went up to this screen and then this triggered this triggered the cutscene right that you're seeing right now. So I'll tell you all to the point where I stopped playing. Anyways, young adventurer is good to see you all together. Hey there, glad you're all in good shape. Better comb your hair and straighten your pocket squares. We're about to meet royalty. Greetings, esteemed visitors. Mural. <laughs> I know your name already because I've seen this cutscene before. Queen Chroma will gladly see you now. Oh, FYI, Queen Chroma knows all about the bookish realities of our land. Don't worry about blowing her mind. She knows the score. Let's go see her. Well, I'm glad she's all caught up. Oh, wait, no. You know what, actually, now that I think about it, I think there actually was something different between this uh, uh, this part and the last part. Because last time I actually went and opened and slashed open all those trees. And there are some light bulbs in the trees. So, <laughs> um, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Now I'm kind of skeptical that there's something else I missed. Was there any other cutscene? I don't think there was a cutscene before the cutscene I was on earlier. If there was, then... I don't know, maybe I'll just splice in footage of a pre some other playthrough on YouTube just to show the cutscene. If, if there is a cutscene that I missed. Anyways, it's not that important now. Let's just go. The Quinn is on the castle balcony. I will lead you there. Oh yeah, I remember this. Then in the part where I wasn't recording, I said, Oh, I beat to the drum of my own beat, and I will not follow you. And I actually went right instead of left. And uh, I talked to this guy right over here. This guy, the green guy. His name is PVT Parakeet. Then I said, What is a PVT? Then I realized, Oh, it's a private. And then he says, not even you, Plucky Squire. And then I said, why does everybody call me Plucky Squire and not call me Jot? Then I said, oh, if I had a choice between being called Plucky Squire or Jot, I would, I, I would prefer to be called the Flashy Squire. Because, you know, my whole motif of my old channel is Flash. So, you know, I would be the Flashy Squire. Already a come Oh yeah, yeah, then I talked to this guy. He didn't have anything interesting for me to say. And this part right here, I'm gonna try to recreate what I did last time. There was kind of a glitch. I'm gonna see if I can get it to happen again. Yeah, there we go. This is what happened. Um, so the Tertex box got cut off at the bottom of the screen. So then I realized, um... Oh yeah, I also gloated and said, oh, I can read everything she's saying, even though half of the text is getting cut off. So then I, the, but then I said, Oh, it's kind of weird how her text box her text box is attached to like where she is physically on screen instead of there just being a static text box overlay that appears in the same spot every time regardless of where the character is. Yeah. Oh man, I'm running out of breath. Okay, so actually at that point, right when I was explaining that whole thing about the text box, that is where I stopped playing. That's where I realized, oh shit, I'm not recording. 
So everything from this point forward is gonna be blind again. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I don't even know what, what this guy's gonna say. This is gonna be a surprise to me. Are you ready? Let's go! Lieutenant Dandelion. I heard it all kicked off that Tone Tower. No surprise. There's something about that giant owl that gives me the willies. <sighs> Private Azure. This entrance is closed. You may admire the fabric of this curtain, however. Can I go inside the curtain? Halt! The queen doesn't allow visitors to proceed through this doorway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me this art scroll. I saw you floating there. Just calling out to me. I don't care about the artwork because I'm not going for 100% completion. Okay. Do you have anything to say? Too many dialogue options. I'm gonna get to a point where I'm just gonna stop reading the text and just, um, or stop reading what the NPCs have to say and just continue on with the story, because this is getting a bit too much. I don't think you really need to read every single piece of NPC dialogue in a Let's Play. Like, I've gotta have some incentive for the audience to buy the game on their own and make them do it. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not allowed past this point. I wanna talk to the chicken man! Oh, he's just out of range. Just barely out of reach. Ah, oh, the apple chicken. What a lame, lame, lame position for him to be in right now. Okay, let's go see the queen. Oh, wow, I sure caught up quick. Whoa, what a banging view. Look, that gnarly mountain over there. That's Trarg Mountain, dudes. My humble homeland. Hey, it even has your horns. Oh, here we go. That was a really long silence right there. <laughs> Nothing happening. Moonbeard, how lovely to see. Oh, wait, it's a queen. I gotta give her a queen accent. Um, Moonbeard, how lovely to see you again. A violet, a thrash, a pip. I'm so happy you came. Inchot, as always, this land is indebted to your bravery and heroism. Thank you for all that you have done. Moonbeard, what can you tell me of this latest kerfuffle? It's that mischievous humgrump again, isn't it? Indeed it is, your highness, with some new greasy tricks. He has a new kind of meta magic that can allow passage in and out of our book. Humgrump may use this magic to gain power over our land. He can change the story of our book for the worse. If the story gets worse, our book could be put away on the shelf. If that happened, the life force of this land would not be able to be a minimum. The story of our lives would not be would be frozen forever in a most miserable way. We cannot allow this to happen. Indeed. We can't. Moonbeard, our friend, what can be done? Jot and Thrash, they'll go locate Humgrump and attempt to stop any trouble he's be he's brewing. Violet and I will begin work on a magic to counter Humgrump's meta magic. Hey, how come you get to be all alone with Violet? I don't trust you, old man. You better keep your hands where I can see them. M me? help you yes violet my girl what you don't think you're capable your talent is essential violet thrash you must have more faith in your own abilities we are all going to have to step up if we wish to stop humgrump okay wait what's this something going on at drag whoa that explosion has a face. Boom. <gasps> Trash looked on in shock. What was happening in his homeland? I don't know. It kind of looked like his nostrils were his eyes and like his eyes were his eyebrows. Chapter 6. Very Metal. Ooh. Oh, I like the sound of this already. 
Our heroes reflected upon this rather explosive development and decided that Jot and Thrash should investigate at once. After a bracing trek across the wilds of Mojo, Jot and Thrash arrived at Trog Mountain. They proceeded to scale its slopes, ascending to the top to get to the bottom of all this bother. After a good climb, they arrived at a lofty plateau. Ah, oh, back at normal elevation. Feels good, dude. Let's press on to my village. It's still a ways up these slopes. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, it's a bunny. Yo, it's a rock bunny. Greetings, mate. Little buddy, what's going on at Trarg? Bad business, men with pointy sticks, big machines. All at the top of the mountain, at your village. Thanks, bunny dude, we're heading that way. Oh, we're gonna have to kill some people with pointy sticks? Okay, those pointy stick people are going down. I see an angry face on that wall. I see a mustache face on this wall. Hmm, blocked. And it was going so smoothly. Hello. Hello. Greeting salutations. Hey, Moonbeard. Strong rune tooth coverage on the mountain, it seems. I'm getting four bars. Looks like there are explosive cannon portals in these parts. Handy for launching new places, Jot. Go now. Launch your body. Be a cannonball. Moonbeard out. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna slash open the bushes. Take all my light bulbs. Oh, before I forget, um, hello, greetings, salutations, everybody. Welcome to the channel of Flash. Okay, there we go. Now I can sync up my audio. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, I have to let go. What? Or not? What? Huh? Oh, I have to... <laughs> okay. See? That would have been nice if they told me that. Then, you know, I can figure it out all on my own. Give me all these light bulbs. I really wish they would have made the this portal a different color than that portal. Because if you're not paying attention, you can accidentally go into the wrong portal. What does this do? Oh, okay. I'm curious. I, I want to try something. Can I go inside this portal if I'm 3D? Nope. <laughs> I tried. I really did try. Okay. Let's just go here. Woo! Talk about a real cannonball. Dude, you never fail to impress. <laughs> you know it. I'm the plucky squire for a reason. Did my game freeze? Nope. <laughs> it's just a really slow loading screen. Look, dude! A gate was too weirdly shaped. Oh, oh my god, I can't keep reading his voice. Okay, I'm gonna tone it down a bit with his voice. Hit me, word. Find two weirdly shaped keys really clear. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Like that. Leave me alone, you ram. Ram this. Ram my sword up your ass. Take a piece. Okay. Oh, uh, look, the little devil horns. I mean, not literal devil horns, but you know, the Ronnie James Dio horns from this tree bush. The tree bush, yeah. Even though it only has four fingers. Okay, um. It looks like I can't go up here yet. Can I do this? 
<laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I gave it the old college try. Jump down. Anything over here, actually? Oh, yeah. I didn't even check over here before. Well, I hate how I always get hit mid-combo. Like, how can I not get hit when I'm doing a combo like that? I really want to know. I'm going to throw this at him. Just so I can get some good hits in before I go full on. I go full into him with my combo. I'm just trying to strategize over here. Okay. Oh, look at some... How did I pick that up all the way from another zip code away? That was wild. What? Oh, am I going to play Whack-A-Mole? I'm so down for that. I haven't played Whack-A-Mole since I was a little... ...younger than I am now. Uh, okay... I'm loving all the light bulbs they're giving me. I really don't like... I'm glad they're giving me a whole bunch of hearts in these bushes because if they didn't give me any hearts, I don't know how I would be able to do this. Because I really don't think I should be... I don't think I should be getting hit at the places where I am getting hit. I feel kind of cheated out of my life. I know I say that while I spend the majority of my life playing video games. <laughs> okay, um... gonna have to find the other key. I'm gonna just do this. Why is he throwing it down? That was- I was not even pressing down on the joystick or anything. He just- I don't even know what to think anymore. This game is putting me into a weird spot, man. I'm on- I'm in a bad way, dog. And it's all because of the plucky squire. <laughs> nah, this game is good for my mental. I think. Should be good for my mental. I'm not going totally psycho yet. And <laughs> if I'm playing this, if I'm, if I'm playing the Plucky Squire and I'm not going psycho, then the only reasonable conclusion is that Plucky Squire prevents mental illness. <laughs> That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Nice. Ooh, I see one more enemy for me to kill. What? You thought you could survive even though all your friends are dead? Nope. <laughs> See, I'm doing him a favor. Imagine being the one sole survivor of like a massive murder massacre. I think that'd be worse than death in some cases. Because, you know, survivor's guilt is a thing. I'm glad I'm able to launch myself with the item in hand. There we go. And the door goes open, and I go through. Oh man, this is so easy, guys. I am a Plucky Squire master. Is there a better Plucky Squire player than the Channel of Flash? I don't think so. I wonder what the speedrun world record for this game is. Well, I didn't get to read that text. I was trying to slash open the bush, and I accidentally advanced the text. Is that you, Thrash? Krong? What kind of name is Krong? By Trarg, it has been a, it has been many a year. Great Uncle Krong, what happened to you? Hum Grub's troops, they hit us with a sneak attack. They blasted the mountain top and now they're mining our metal up there. I tried to defend the village. The troops grabbed me and I threw me down and threw me down here. Ooh, ooh. Felt a burp coming up in my throat. Okay, um, it took 20 of them, uh, 20 of them though, lad. Old Kronk busted many a head. Thrash boy, they've imprisoned the villagers, your parents. It's up to you now to save them. With you by our side, Kronk. No, this guy's dead. Nephew, can't you see the crater over there? I hit the ground pretty hard, you know. How are you still alive? Nope, the end is near for me. It's time for me to ascend to Troll Holla. Listen to me. As a young one, you shied away from the way of the Metal Warrior. But your parents and I, we always saw potential in you. Thrash, Tharg Thar needs you to harness that potential. I know you can do it. Okay, so all this time Thrash was the chosen one. His ghost! 
his body. Ooh. So metal, man. Great Uncle Trog. Krong, rest in glory. We'll save the village. You can bet on it. Jot, dude, let's roll on. Thrash, you're the chosen one. I thought I was the only chosen one in this game. I'm the main character. How can there be two chosen ones? Oh, I feel kind of cheated. I feel less special. What is my purpose in life if I'm not the chosen one? I'm just... The chosen... One of the chosen two? That's not as special. Okay. I thought I could... I thought I could do my spin attack at a greater distance than only that. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Pow, pow, bam! Too many enemies here. I need to call the... Finn the herd. Call the sheep. Call Finn? Is that the right word? Call? C-U-L-L? -L? Isn't that mean to, like, thin, thin out? I don't know. I don't know dictionary definitions. We meet again! Care to take a look at my current selection? How come Martina got all the way over here without anybody attacking her? We'll spin twice after charging up a spin. Or I can do this sword damage upgrade too. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I really don't see any purpose of me not upgrading my uh, sword attack damage. Because it seems to affect all my abilities, not as opposed to only upgrading the spin or only upgrading the sword throw. Blocked! Again! Let me handle this! What are you gonna do, Thrash? Yo, good sir! Could you kindly open the gates? We have majorly important business to attend to! Forthwith! No can do! No one ascend beyond here! Unless you have a pass. If you have a pass, then yeah! Sure thing, go ahead! Are we gonna take that from a guy named Droob? A pass, huh? I don't have one job. I guess we're gonna rummage around in the bushes and maybe someone dropped one around here. Us mountain trolls can be a bit clumsy, if I'm being truthful. Okay, it's really panning over to that bunny. But I'm not gonna go there yet because I wanna slash open those bushes. I wanna slash open these bushes too. Also, these one over here, and these ones too, and also this one over here. Pluck. Hey! I'm the Plucky Squire. Why is your name Pluck? Are you trying to steal my image? Are you trying to steal my symbolism? Overheard you, looking for a pass. Think there's one in the cave around here. Some bunny stored it in a chest for safekeeping. Look for a cave. Okay, I gotta find a chest in a cave. Why is everybody interrupting me? I couldn't help overhearing the bunny that overheard you. <laughs> now hear this. If you're looking for a cave entrance, Dot, you may spot one while giving the pages a bit of a turn. Free advice from old Moonbeard. And I'm out. See ya. Okay, let's manip manipulate the pages. I think I have to stand over here. Oh, I have to press both of them, okay. Um, turn the page. Not that way, the other way. Oh no, I think I was this way actually. Oh, hello? Why did I close the book? Open the book. Book! Am I... Hello? Oh. I'm a little bit lost. So, the stupid wizard said something about a cave somewhere. Okay, turn the page again. No, turn it the other way. Turn it this way. Turn it this way again. Oh, I can't. I can only go one direction. Oh, one direction from that specific page. I gotta find a cave. Turn it again. I don't see a cave over here. And I'm really looking, I'm looking hard. I don't see any cave. I don't see a cave here either. Is this a cave? Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Okay, I think I'm going a bit too far. Okay, um, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, this kind of looks like a cave, but it's sealed off. I don't think that's the cave that he's referring to. Well, I'll be. I can't find the goddamn cave. Um, there's something here. There's a missing page. Oh, I see a staircase over there. Can I go inside there? Uh, hold on. I don't even think I can because there's not really a place for me to... Oh, look! Okay. <laughs> oh, it's just really dark. Okay, okay. Ooh, these metal people again. Ooh, give me that. Give me that light bulb. Another one. And he damaged me. That's nice. That's fantastic. I better get my energy back from that. How many of these people are there? Go away. Leave me alone. Stop it. You're burning me. Ooh, heart scroll. Nice. Whoa. Wait, what was that? I didn't even read all that. I didn't know I was going to get a whole wall of text. Wall of text. Only like... One sentence. But I wasn't expecting for me to have to read something. I was just mashing the B button. Lick, you look for a pass. We got pass. Locked in a red chest, mate. Pass locked safely in chest. But if you're if you clever, maybe you get it. I am so clever. I have solved so many puzzles already. This is not even gonna be a challenge for me. This mine was ancient and rather gloomy. Okay, so it doesn't lo look like I can change any, any of the words in that sentence. MV to jot! Yo, just taking in quite a dingy spot you found. That thing in front of you looks like a minecart. I bet it'd roll around that rail if it were tilted. Have fun. How can a minecart get angry? Uh, this guy's out of his mind. Talking about a tilted minecart. I'm tilted just reading his dialogue. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm playing dumb. I know what we gotta do. Hey, you just gotta tilt it this way. Oh, hold on, hold up. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll go in there. What is this? What am I supposed to do with it, though? I assume I place it right here. Yep, easy peasy lemon. Oh, how did that hit me? He missed me. I missed him. I should not got hit right there. Slick. Chest locked. Red switch. Open red chest. Okay, that seems easy enough. I just gotta go hit open that switch. While also avoiding not getting killed by these goddamn cone heads. Ugh. But I also gotta find another spin attack! Find another block. Okay, I can't do anything here. I see a random bush. How does a bush even grow in such a dingy little cave? Um, can't do anything there. Oh, you know what? I think I know what I have to do. I think they're only gonna give me one block. So I have to like alternate which block I press the switch on. Or I have to alternate which switch I put the block on. <laughs> so I gotta kill this guy real quick. Man, he takes a lot of hits! He doesn't go down easy! Just like my wife's cooking. <laughs> I haven't even talked to this guy yet. What? You're after is close by. Go. You just have to mess around with pressure pads and switches a bit. Such is life, though. <laughs> okay, uh, I did not need him to tell me that. How dumb does he think I am? I am one of the chosen two. I don't need this basic bitch advice. Okay, go down. Uh, open the locked door! Then press open the switch! 
bitch! The thing is, I see two treasure chests. Which one is it gonna open? Is it gonna open both of them? Will it open that? Oh, it did open both of them. Okay. Well, that makes things easier. We'll go down there, go up here. Bit anticlimactic, that. <laughs> You're all I'll say. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. So I'm gonna have to take this minecart and put it somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, just keep going this way. Um, do that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, don't go all the way over there. I don't think it can stop it. And I think it only stops in like pre-selected places. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can put it anywhere. Because I want to get- I want to put it somewhere on the bottom left. So I can get over there. But it doesn't seem to be letting me. Hmm. Maybe if I... Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Huh. You know what? I... Just tilted a little bit, just a tiny bit. Stop, 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 stop. no, no, okay. Yeah, it really, do, it really does only have to pre-select the places. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? Here, tilt it this way. I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna go over here, do this. I have an idea, just hear me out, hear me out. Take this block and put it all the way over here. I'm gonna assume that uh, this bridge that comes out is gonna be enough to stop it. Like to stop it in its track. And maybe that will have some kind of effect on the minecart. So, so yeah, if I do this... Nope, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't, want, I don't want to turn the page. I should stop it, yeah, like that. But what does that even do, ultimately? Okay, I'll do this. Maybe it'll, it'll stop automatically right there? Yeah, there we go, okay. Okay, thank God. If that wasn't the solution, I don't know what else I would have done. <laughs> oh, go away. Okay, the pass? I got a lightning pass. That be good job, mate. Thanks a lot, Mick. Mick Jagger. If we're on the theme of metal, even though he's more of a rock and roll slash hard rock artist and not a metal artist, cracking jot. Now you can open that gate and continue your climb with thrash, onwards and upwards, lad. Moonbeard out. <laughs> See what did I tell you? I told you I can solve any puzzle that comes my way. Because I am the plucky squire. Turn the page. Yes, over here. And Thrash is just waiting oh so patiently for me. Dude, you're back for another ja 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 jaunt. <laughs> and hey, you've got a pass medal. Let's open those gates. Yep, open those pearly gates as you go on to Valhalla. Just like your uncle. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Troll Holla. You may ascend. Charge greed. Charge speed. Greed speed. Whatever. <laughs> Our heroes climb the sheer cliff face, ascending to even greater heights. a ghost. Hello again, just dropping in. Mountain trolls who have ascended to Troll Hala can barely, briefly return to the mountain. If we have business that is important enough. And who dictates how important business is? I mean, if I died and I wanted to come back to the mountain to, I don't know. Like, 
eat a potato. Would that be considered important enough for me to come back? Even though I can't eat as a ghost? Eat a ghost potato, and I do namely training on you in a ways Omega Warriors fast. This cloud is a rental, so I'm rather short of time. Let's get to it. Come here, my boy. Let's see if you've got that Trog spirit in you. Except Trog. Thanks. That's I had no idea you said that. Okay. Accepted the challenge. I thought I was the only one who could get buff. Oh, this is the first time we're gonna be playing as somebody else. Yeah, finally. Okay, what am I doing? Okay. Why does he keep tilting like that? He keeps losing his balance. Nice. Okay, it's kind of like a rhythm game. I'm getting the hang of this. This is stupidly easy. Oh! <laughs> Feels very Zelda-y. Knocking energy attacks back at my opponent. Oh, this is so easy. Very easy. Like this, and that. Ooh, man, I really hate the one he throws up in the air. Ooh. Okay, so that's why he stumbles like that. So I can't just spam my abilities. Okay, I see. All about the balancing. No! I took damage! Why am I beating up my uncle anyways? Why can't he just have faith that I know what to do? Why is he training me? Well, that was so easy. You got the better of me there, young one. I am dead. Though it does not tend to mellow one a bit. You'll have to step up your game if you're challenged by a feisty living opponent. Oh, the rental limit on my cloud just ran out. Gotta go. Don't want to deal with late fees. Good luck, you two. I'll be waiting, watching. Metal! So long, Krong! <laughs> Ooh, that was kind of fun, dude. Haven't had such an intense drumming workout for a good while. Feeling pretty amped. Let's zip on ahead. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. What the heck? Screw received? Screw transportation! Commence! I agree. We should all be stationary. That thing looked kinda gnarly! Hello, Sprouts! That massive screw thing, it's not from our world. It seems that Humgrump is bringing metal parts into our land from the outside realm! B -b 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 Machines of Mayhem? This thing! He's pilfer pilfered all that metal junk from another book on the desk. Oh, so he can go to other books and take their items from over there? Ooh, man. I hope he doesn't go into any, like, Oppenheimer books or anything. Uh, can't be good news. It is never is with that nitwit. Hurry up to the peak. See what Hugh Humdingus is up to. Moonbeard out. Man, Jot and Thrash are just really looking into each other's eyes so lovingly. Oh, is this a bromance that's gonna come out? Oh! Nope! I turn my back on you. And I turn my back on the rest of this episode because the episode's over now. We're gonna continue on to the next stupid crap we have to do in the next episode. Oh, okay. Thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Okay, bye.